been a challenging year, uh, raising inflation, geopolitical risk, this all put a lot of pressure on the equity market and then the exchanges in general. And then you see that the issuers are being a little hesitant, but for Astana International Exchange and the Kazakh local market, the year ended with a very exciting IPO of Cosmonite Gas, the largest state-owned enterprise, which we've been waiting for a long time. And actually, despite all the difficulties and the turmoil on the global market, it uh, happened to be very successful as the local story. Uh, the largest IPO in the number of uh, money raised and the number of participants, the investors, especially local retail. So this was a big ending of the year and we hope that the trend will follow and other state-owned enterprises will follow. World is changing, and but however, there are like few mega trends. I think that one of them is the democratization of finance and the capital markets, especially with all this, uh, the loudest, I mean, the most known is probably Robin Hood, but uh, main idea is that the access to the market is now available for most of the people. It's uh, driven by the digitalization, by the apps and the cell phones and etc. And we see the same trend uh, in Kazakhstan. Uh, for the IPO I mentioned, about 99% of the orders came through the digital solutions like applications, bank, broker applications, and our own application. And then I think that that will follow. And pre like um, 2022, uh, about 20. 5% of the most liquid North American market was also driven by the retail and I guess other markets followed the trend. So I think that will um, again be the trend that determines the future of the capital markets. Uh, but also in general capital markets, I think a better solution for allocation of capital. I always believe that uh, uh, direct market, which is the capital market, uh, different from the indirect is the best allocation of capital to the projects that most deserve to be allocated, uh, meaning that uh, investors interact with the issuers directly right on the market. And uh, with all the requirements uh, in terms of uh, governance, in terms of the ESG and etc., it will drive a sustainable growth for the local economies and then the world in general. Because uh, again, all the transparency, ESG standards uh, that include the uh, uh, environmental standards, gender equality, social uh, topics, and etc. That's going to be a better platform for the uh, sustainable development of the world, uh, world uh, worldwide. <laughs> uh, that's that's what I think will drive the capital markets uh, in the future. It is still developing, and of course, it's true for Astana International Exchange, which is just only four years old. And uh, we think there is a lot of potential uh, that uh, should be and will be hopefully uh, flourish in the future. Uh, we hope that the more companies again follow to the market uh, with this IPO that happened, both like state-owned uh, enterprises and the private ones. And then people will be able to share the growth of the economy and benefit it directly, not just through their like salary increases and etc., but be part of the development of Kazakh equity story. That story, uh, I hope, will unfold in 2023. But because, but of course, it's like dependent on the. Uh, global risk, maybe it will uh, pause the process, but it's not going to cancel it. I think that and it will uh, grow. And, uh, and another thing is that I hope that and that's what we aim is uh, international investors will come to Kazakhstan directly. Again, the um, kind of hurdle for that was that a lot of the issuers, especially big ones, wanted to list also directly like outside the country. That stopped the foreign investors, especially institutional ones, to uh, spend their time and money on uh, connecting to the local market. But I see also that the trend that the equity market is becoming local. A lot of the companies uh, try to list locally first, and I hope that also will drive the uh, uh, again, connection of the international institutions to Kazakh market directly next year.